Factory Sound opened as a shop in 1994. Prior to that, from 1992 onwards, it was rehearsal rooms. What started as just a few rolls of gaffer tape, some Neutrik connectors, and some SM58 microphones grew into a very, very large Pro Audio store. Our customer base, we sort of, where a lot of people stop, that's sort of where we start in terms of quality of audio and, and the level of what we sell. Most people won't commit to either buying the high-end product and putting it on the floor for people to see and play to say a band was coming through or someone was doing a show and they want to hop on the Digico. They go, oh, I need 225, I've got a show I haven't played on this new console. And they want to bring and mix and have a play and get their head around the workflow. That sort of stuff, no shops are doing. We just want to do something completely different where no, factory's got it in stock. You want to hear it? You want to hear the difference between this or that? It's there. So really trying to set that differentiation between a retail store and a pro audio store. Other things Factory Sound has done in the past few years is really grow our projects department to a very large part of the business. The newest space we've got here, which is our Avid immersive space, where we can demonstrate, thanks to having Drew from Avid in the building, we can demonstrate just what Dolby Atmos means. We've got a 7.1.4 set up in there. I think Factory's gone from strength to strength over the last 25 years. It's, it's been quite a journey. I've had a lot of fun. For us, the difference is qualifying the customer making them feel really comfortable in their purchase and then making sure that they don't need to look overseas and our price difference from a common or a sweet water or anywhere else it's so small that it just makes no difference when you're going to get that support we really look at long-term relationships is the best way because over time even the people who are buying the equipment realize we need to make some money too and we're never greedy with anything we do it has to be a win-win so then over time that relationship builds and the trust builds they get to a stage where they don't even ask me about price they say dean this is the project we're trying to do what would you recommend you know, it's just that level of trust over time. And that's what we try to build and instill. We take a lot of pride in what we do. We understand that if you do something very good for your clients, they should refer their friends to you. You know, go to Factory Sound, they'll make sure you get looked after. If you do something wrong, straight away they're on the internet saying how bad the service was. And um, we don't want that to happen. So our internal mantra, it could be, Anyone walking through the door, we don't know their status, we don't know what they're doing, but they're going to be important for us. We've got two new owners now that have taken over the company. The new vision was pretty inspiring and it, it allowed us to do things like the immersive room, like doing a meeting room, stuff that we'd really wanted to do for a while, but we know it takes backing and support. Like we had the ideas, but it was sort of, we were hamstrung in areas, but these guys really see a vision to take the business nationally and really go strong into the pro audio top echelon. It's all looking good. As you can see, the changes around this place in such a short time, it's so exciting. It reinvigorates everybody.